everyone this is your girl Ashley and I am coming to you guys just really quick um, just to give you uh, my view on how certain games are gonna go today and a couple of previews um, and I'm gonna start off first with of course the man the myth Tom Brady y'all know that that's my man honey grand and he is back today um, as the New England Patriots take on the Cleveland Browns. So I pretty much expect this game to be like kind of like a scrimmage game, kind of like a preseason game. I expect Tom Brady to go berserk. I expect him to go off. Um, he's pissed and he's been relaxing for four weeks when he would have rather played. So Gronk is all of a sudden healthy and really, really ready to go. I think Julian Edelman is ready to go as well. I expect them to have a great game against this poor uh, Cleveland team who is coming into this game 0-4 while New England is coming into this game 3-1. and So I expect the Pats to win this game somewhere around 31-7. to I expect Tom Brady to have a great game. He's definitely going to throw up a couple of touchdowns. Um, he may be a tiny bit rusty, but I expect that to not even be a factor as the game goes on. Um, the second game that I wanted to get into is, of course, the Battles of the Beltway. The Scans play the Ravens. The Ravens' defense is ranked, like, number one, and I had no clue that the Ravens' defense was ranked number one until a couple of days ago when I did um, some research. So um, as great as Kirk Cousins has been, throwing the ball in his passing yards. I think he's already over like a thousand passing yards on the season. I expect that to come to a halt today as they play against the Ravens. I don't expect it to be like a blowout game. Um, I think the, the, the Ravens defense is definitely going to make um, key stops when they're supposed to. I don't, again, expect it to be a blowout. I expect the Ravens to take that game probably like 23 or 20, something to that nature. The third game I wanted to talk about is definitely this giant um, Green Bay game this evening on Sunday Night Football. So all week, everybody's been talking about Odell and his emotions and controlling himself and his being a distraction. And, you know, he said he's not having fun playing football anymore. And I get that. Um, especially when you you haven't scored any touchdowns. And I get it when your team isn't winning. And I get it when, you know, these defenses are coming for you and pretty much shutting you down because that's, the, that's what happens when you're the best receiver. Most defense is going to double – team you or triple team you so you know other people have to step up because they understand that you are not gonna you know <laughs> get the targets that you want however um i expect odell beckham to have a really good game against this um green bay defense green bay defense has always been suspect that's just what it is um and i expect him to haul in probably not one but two touchdowns tonight against green bay and i expect him to have um well over 100 passing yards um but I don't expect the Giants to win this game. I expect them to drop their third third game straight. Um, I don't think that their defense is going to hold up against Aaron Rodgers because Aaron Rodgers is just that that guy. Um, I expect their their offense to definitely overpower the the much improved uh, Giants defense. But it's not going to happen tonight. I expect. Green Bay to win that around thirty one seventeen. Um, of course, I have to talk to you guys about my. Dallas Cowboys <laughs> playing the Cincinnati Bengals at home in Jerry World. Dallas is not a good home team. They haven't been a good home team um, in quite some time now. Um, and since he is coming in to this bad boy ranked ninth defensively, um, you know, the trash talking has already, you know, been going on. Um, people are saying that the Dallas offensive line is so good that their daughter, you know, can run through it. So that was kind of like a shot at Ezekiel Elliott, which is true. Our offensive line is great. And, you know, but Ezekiel Elliott is great too. So I'm really interested to see how Dax and um, Zeke are going to do this at home, being the rookies. Um, can they come in and make it happen? Um, Dez Bryant is not going to be playing. Um, I think they're going to let him, like, do warm-ups, but he's not going to play. So that's going to put um, Bryce back in Dez's spot. That means that Dallas really needs to see a lot of Terrence Williams. Um, Cole Beasley is going to have a lot of attention and fo focused on him because he is that receiver that you could sleep on and forget about. So I don't think that Cincy defense is going to sleep or forget about Cole Beasley. So um, I expect, however, Dallas to win that game 27-24. I have a lot of faith in Dax Prescott and Ezekiel Elliott and that offensive line. And if we continue to dominate um, time of possession like we have been doing to keep our defense off the field, um, I don't really see it being, you know, A.J. Green is – Amazing, of course, but if we can just stay on the field and keep their offense off the field and keep our defense off the field, I don't see why this would be a problem. And Dallas has been doing that. That's why our defense looks 
okay because Dallas has really been doing that dominating time of possession so again I expect Dallas to win this bad boy 27-24 they will be 4-1 by the end of the day we will see how that go again I just wanted to give you guys um, my two cents about how I feel like some of the games are gonna go on and let's see if um most of those predictions come to um, fruitation uh, I will be checking in with you guys during the games and I'll talk to you guys soon bye bye